everyone. Welcome back. Hope you're all having an awesome Monday. I'm Stacy, and this is the For Bricks and Giggles YouTube channel. For today's speed build, I have a classic city set, set 7892, The Hospital from 2006. So stick around to the end to hear my review, and let's get started. So here we have the completed build, and this set is right around 360 pieces and comes with four minifigures. And I have actually owned this set since it originally came out in 2006. It was my first hospital. It was a really weird time for Lego, but it came with a raised base plate. So I always loved raised base plates, so I really wanted this set for that reason. It is a really cool raised base plate. I'm not sure how many sets actually have this style, but I don't think it's a whole lot. And I always wanted a hospital, and I don't know, I guess when I was growing up and I was younger, there wasn't really a lot of hospital sets. I feel like they had come out kind of before I was into Lego and then they waited a long time until they made another one. So now I have the St. Mary's Hospital. I just recently got that one in the last several months and I've already done a review of that one if you haven't seen it, but I thought it would be cool to also show you all this one since it was my very first hospital. And this would have come out around the time I was like end of middle school, beginning of high school. So it's actually in really good condition because it wasn't played with a lot. It was probably one of the last sets that I opened before I started just buying them and leaving them sealed. But it is in good shape. It is a cool set. There are some weird parts about it though. Like I said, this was a very kind of bizarre time. In Lego, they were going through a transition from the town sets to the city sets, and I think city had just started around 2005, so this is, you know, very early in the city theme. But I'll show you the minifigures first. It does come with four. You get three hospital workers and one patient. So we've got this guy. I think he drives the little vehicle. There's the helicopter pilot, got our main hospital doctor, and finally a patient who's kind of a funny looking guy. They used what I call Uncle Vernon head for him. So in a lot of sets, but it always reminds me of Uncle Vernon from the Harry Potter sets. 
So four kind of cool minifigures. I really like the design they used for those hospital torsos. And then, like I said, it comes with a helicopter and a little vehicle. And I'm not going to lie, vehicles are not great for this set. Particularly the little car is probably one of the most thrown together looking vehicles I've ever seen. So it is small. Not, not terrible, but it's really the back end that bothers me. It looks incredibly unfinished. There should be something in the side here. I don't know why they left that giant gap. If you know and I'm just missing something, please let me know. But to me, that looks incredibly unfinished. It is a set that contains a lot of stickers. So that tile on the front is a sticker. But all in all, kind of a, a kind of thrown together looking little vehicle there. And then the helicopter. The helicopter is a little better, a little more classic looking in design. So I'm not as offended by this, but a little basic. And for me, usually I prefer basic because I hate a bunch of useless excess pieces, but maybe a little bit more could have gone into the design. I think definitely you could have put a hospital logo somewhere on this helicopter, particularly the, the tail would have been a great spot for it, but still cute. And I probably like this set more than most just because it was my first hospital set. So actually I'll show you the interior here on the back. They did do a pretty good job with the interior. It has quite a bit, so as compared to a lot of other sets where it's mostly empty. This it looks like kind of the OR. You've got, you know, a light here at the top that moves, a whole bunch of tools on the side. And then I know when I posted this set on Instagram, I was super confused by these random slope pieces in the middle. And everyone was very quick to tell me what those were for, which is to set the stretcher on. We've got a couple of beds on this floor and they actually put little names at the end of each bed. So I think those are really cute. Those are sticker pieces as well. I think that's a really nice little addition there. The main floor is just the lobby where you check in. It's got a little computer. So they put a decent amount of stuff on the interior to give it some playability. We've also got a door on the side that would exit to where the helicopter is. So that's nice as well. And these grass pieces on the side are also stickers. So you got a shrub, a couple trees, some flowers. This is also a sticker piece as well. So I do have to say, this set came out in 2006, so that makes it 15 years old, and none of the stickers are peeling. So super impressed with that because it has been built since 2006, and I've just been storing it mostly for that time. So the fact that none of the stickers have peeled off yet is really nice. I'm glad because, you know, they get harder and harder to get as you go. Um, this piece at the top is also a sticker piece. All of the windows and doors are covered in stickers. The sticker sheet, I think, was like 30 bucks if you wanted it on BrickLink. Kind of expensive, but it is 15 years old, and it is a ton of stickers. But I think if you wanted to buy them already applied to the, you know, different parts, they weren't terribly expensive from what I looked at. So 360 couple pieces. You know, you get a couple vehicles, you get four minifigures. If you're into kind of classic city sets, I think this is a great one. If you're looking for just an interesting base plate to build a mock on, this one also might be a good base plate to look at, a little bit different there. And I know you can get it with the stickers applied or without, so that might be something to look into as well. I'm super obsessed with raised base plates and I miss them terribly. So I do like it, especially for that reason and it's just very nostalgic of my childhood. I did actually look at this set on BrickLink, and in the United States currently, as of recording this, there were no used copies of this set for sale, and there was only one that was new in the United States. There were obviously some from other countries, but in the US, currently no used copies of this set for sale, and only one that was brand new, which was something outrageous, like 
$225. Not saying that they shouldn't get that much for it, it's just that would be an outrageous amount to spend on a set. I did not check eBay to see what it was going for. It might be more readily available there, but on Bricklink, if you're in the United States, is currently just not very easily accessible. But if you have the opportunity to get the set and you're looking for a hospital and you like classic city sets, then I definitely recommend checking the set out. for watching. If you enjoyed this video, like and subscribe. I post new videos every Monday and Thursday. See you next time. If you'd like a castle themed t-shirt like the one I'm wearing, go to my webpage link in the description and click the merch button.